PNG tubers rejoice! We have another new offering given to us by the gods of free programs. Vado Tube Mini, my new favorite thing. With its hotkeys, expressions, save states, this little lightweight program has quickly become my number one recommendation for PNGs and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Unlike Discord reactive images where you only have the option of a talking or non-talking image with a small bounce effect, this program has so many options, it's truly amazing. Let's just jump right into it. First, you'll need to download the program. Link is in the description. Simply unpack the zip file and boot up the program. Once it's loaded, you might notice there's no menu screens for this app. Everything you need is right here. And the best part, when your cursor isn't on the window, the menu disappears. Such a small detail, but extremely welcome. We're going to start with the left side of the screen. Up in the top left-hand corner is your microphone volume sensitivity. This bar controls when the program changes your closed mouth image to your open mouth image. You can also see where your microphone volume sits normally while speaking, so you can adjust this bar to avoid activating it if you have any background noise like an air conditioner. The bar sitting next to it controls how fast you swap back from your open mouth image or your talking image to your closed mouth image or your non-talking image. If you set this bar to the highest, it swap backs immediately, and if you set it to the lowest, it takes a few seconds. Fine tuning this to fit your vocal cadence correctly is a super nice touch that I haven't seen any other applications do. Between those two bars is the microphone device button. This lets you change what microphone the app is using. Nice and simple UI. Below that is the background color, and there are currently four to choose from. Green, blue, pink, and transparent, but we'll get into that a little bit later when we talk about how to use it with OBS and Streamlabs. We'll also be saving the open and save buttons for the end. Trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Now it's time to dive into what makes this app truly amazing. In the top middle of the screen are four buttons. Closed mouth image is which image is used when there's no microphone activity detected. Open mouth image, you guessed it, is what shows when your microphone is active. The closed mouth blinking image and the open mouth blinking image occasionally activate during those states. For example, if I added a closed mouth blinking image and then proceeded not to talk, you will see it swap to that image for a frame every couple seconds. The same happens if I continue to talk without giving the microphone a chance to go inactive. You will see it swap to the blinking image for a frame every few seconds. This can really add some life to your PNG. Random blinking while talking just makes it feel so much more alive and we haven't even gotten to the best part of all of this. You can have different animations for your closed mouth and open mouth images. There are seven to choose from with the first being no animation. We then have some vibing, which is just some minor back and forth movement, shaking, which gives a small shake, shaking more, which makes the movement quite a bit faster, bouncy, which just makes it hop, excited is bouncy, but moving to the left and right, and finally nervous is excited, but with faster and more movement. The settings are the same for both open and closed mouth, and you can mix and match at your leisure. We also have the mouth transition button, which can give you that iconic discord reactive image bounce when you change from non-speaking to speaking, if that's something you want. Now we're moving into states. I'll admit, I wasn't fully convinced this program was anything new or interesting until I saw this. This is a literal game changer, and I will shout from the rooftops about how any PNG duper should use this program. You can make custom states with new pictures and animations for super easy swapping, and this opens up a huge realm of possibilities. Here's how it works. When the program first loads, you will only have one state. To make a new one, simply change the images and animations and click Create State. Now you have a set of images that you can swap between whenever you want. This is extremely useful for people who have multiple expressions for PNGs and want to convey different emotional tones easily. You can also assign hotkeys to these states by clicking on the hotkey button while that state is active, and this program accepts inputs from a keyboard, MIDI, mouse, or X input, which means that it's compatible with things like the Stream Deck. You can also decide if the hotkey will swap to the new state or only stay swapped for as long as the button is pressed. This is such a great feature because it makes swapping to new faces for bits so easy and you don't have to worry about swapping back afterwards. I can't rave about this enough. This puts PNGs on the same level as Live 2D with expressions. There's just so many options and combinations that you can make to really give your PNG the feeling you want. I'm probably just going to use the PNGs for this video now. Finally, the last little bit of information you need is the save Vado Mini file. This saves all of your current states, images, and animations into a ready to use file. You can open it later with the open button and everything you customized will be ready to go. This is awesome for transferring files between computers. So now that you've got the app all set up, let's put it into OBS. You're first going to go to sources, add a game source, Name it whatever you want. Search for the Vado Tube mini window. And if you're using the transparency background, you can enable transparency and it's good to go. If you're using one of the color backgrounds, you will need to add a filter by right clicking on the source, going to filters, add a key color or chroma key filter, 
select the right color, and then you should be good to go. It really is just that easy. I'm super excited to see what you all do with this program. I just want to toss this here at the end. Please support the creator of this program. They made something truly amazing and it's worth the five bucks you can give them.